I'm here for breakfast. It's continental. It seems to me that a staple for continental breakfast is blueberry muffins. I know not everyone's a fan of Spongebob. When I flipped the channel they were talking about trading cards. Patrick gets a special trading card that Spongebob really wanted and he's just terribly mistreating it like he uses it to clean his grill and then flip burgers on the grill and do all this garbage with it. It just kind of made me think of whenever you are playing it doesn't have to be magic, but I use magic as an example since that's what I'm most familiar with. Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! You have your cards in like the protective sleeves and then you're playing with someone who's got like a deck of like all these rares and mythic rares and you know their cards are worth something but like they're not in sleeves and like they're shuffling them and like inside you're cringing. Yeah, it really, it really bothers me. You guys are probably wondering why I'm over at the hotel in the first place, and the reason is not to come over and eat breakfast, although that was a pretty good reason, it was pretty delicious, but the real reason is I need a haircut. However, after my haircut I went in and got a shower, and I got a shower here, and I know it's really dark, but if I turn on the lights it has that horrible fan noise. People should really start making the shower heads for like, taller people, like this is kind of ridiculous, especially since... The, the direction in which this is shooting is like an armpit beam. And like, I don't need an armpit beam. I need it on my head. And I certainly don't need to develop some kind of back pain doing this because it could just be higher. I mean, there's, there's room. Why can't you just put it from here, like up to here? That would make sense. Hotels hate tall people. That's just all there is to it. It's been several hours, and it's time for dinner, and I have never had sticky fingers, but we're going to give it a shot. There's a kitty outside, and it sees the camera. Better tap harder. See? Yeah. I, I mean, you, you have his attention. You just don't have anything he wants. Well, he wants food. He's hungry. Are you getting? Oh, I see him. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, the restaurant will be <laughs> Apparently, Sticky Fingers is known for ribs, so we got the sampler. Well, me and me and my father both. That would be a little much for me, I have to admit. Well, if nothing else, I did. Uh, eat it all, and by all I mean half, but half was my share since we split it, so I guess that's fair. It was a lot of food. I, I actually couldn't eat the, the side of baked beans and the french fries, but other than that it was all gone. Ironically, Sticky Fingers being called Sticky Fingers Rib House is the, the full title. Uh, the ribs weren't really that good. We had four different flavors to try, and I wasn't impressed with any of them. I've had better ribs at places that just happened to serve ribs, but their focus was on like steak and stuff like that. So I don't think I'm a big fan of Sticky Fingers, but maybe this one was bad. If any of you guys have eaten at a better Sticky Fingers and know that the food is really awesome, then you should speak up because as of right now, I have no plans on ever going back to Sticky Fingers. So maybe one of you can renew my faith, but uh, it'll probably be a while before I ever go back. The next three days for me are massive. Uh, there's a ton of work that I've been doing behind the scenes that you guys haven't been seeing, and it's all... <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work. Anyway, things don't get easy until Wednesday. I am really looking forward to Wednesday. Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. Wednesday.